Hello, good morning to everyone. Welcome back to ACT Mathematics class 12th. In this chapter 4 is determinants. In class 12th chapter 4 is determinants. Let us see last minute revision. What is the important quick revision in this chapter? Okay. First one, what is determinant definition? A determinant of order 3 consisting of 3 rows and 3 columns is written as 3 columns is written as determinant of a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3 and is equal to a1 into determinant of b2, c2, b3, c3 minus b1 into determinant of a2, c2, a3, c3 plus c1 into determinant of a2, b2, a3, b3. See, what is, how to find the given uh, given matrix of order 3 by 3 matrix determinant is c here generally they given in this slide how to find out determinant see this is plus or minus plus first uh, row and is equal to a1 into a1 first row first column eliminate and what is the remaining matrix determinant you have to take a1 into determinant of this one, this 4, okay, B2, C2, B3, C3 minus B1 into determinant of this second column first row eliminate remaining A2, C2, A3, C3 plus C1 into plus C1 into A2 this third column and first row eliminate these four elements determined you have to take. That is the generally, generally find out the of order 3 by 3 matrix general form this is the general form ok the numbers a y b i comma c i where i equal to 1 2 3 are called the elements of the determinant so here i is the index number i equal to 1 2 3 are called the elements of the determinant so, ok so, find out the determinant of the given of order 3 by 3 matrix means this one along first row. So, this one form. Okay. Next, properties of determinants. So, what is the properties of determinant? If to each element of a line, a row or column of a determinant, we added the equi multiples of the corresponding elements of one more parallel lines, the determinant remains un unaltered that is determinant of a1 plus l a2 plus a m a3 a2 a3 b1 plus l b2 m b3 b2 b3 c1 plus l c2 plus m c3 c2 c3 that equal to determinant of a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 plus 0 0 plus 0 equal to finally you get this matrix only a1, A2, A3, these are the general properties of the determinants. Okay. Next one, product of two determinants. So, how to product of two determinants? We can write, take two matrices of order 3 by 3 matrix and a determinant also. How to product those matrix determinants? See, here these two are matrix of order 3 by 3 matrix. See, first row, first column, same product of uh, multiplication of two matrices, no same like that only. A 1 alpha 1 plus A 1 beta 1 plus next B 1 beta 1 plus C 1 gamma 1. See first row and this one, second matrix first row, okay, multiply that and next one A 2 alpha 2 this one plus B 2 uh, beta 1 plus C2 gamma 1. So, second row, first row only. Okay. Next and so on, so on, so on. Right. Next, if A equal to A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33, then adjoint A equal to. So, what is the adjoint of A? Adjoint of A is the transpose of the given matrix ok uh, that means c11 c12 c13 c21 c22 c32 c33 
C3, 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 C3. So this transpose. Transpose means interchange the rows and columns. See, first row here written in first column and second row here written second column and third row here written third column. So this is the adjoint here. See, in the previous class you already learnt how to find the adjoint matrix. So, I already told you and, I, and we did some problems also on this topic. So, where C i j denotes the cofactor of A i j in A inverse of a matrix A inverse equal to. So, what is the A inverse equal to? 1 by determinant of A into adjoint A. So, cofactors minus we all also uh, we learnt that topic and inverse of a matrix formula is a inverse equal to 1 by determinant of A into adjoint A. Okay. Next one. Properties of inverse of a matrix. Every invertible matrix possesses a unique inverse. These are the first properties of the inverse of a matrix. First property is every invertible matrix process possesses a unique inverse. Second one is reverse reversal law. That means, if A and B are invertible matrices of the same order, then A B is invertible and A B whole inverse equal to B inverse into A inverse. This is second property and third property is if A is an invertible square matrix, then A dash is also invertible and A dash whole inverse equal to A inverse whole dash. If A is a non-singular square matrix of order N, then adjoint of A equal to determinant of A whole power n minus n. This is fourth property. If A and B are non-singular square matrices of the same order, then adjoint of A B equal to you can write as adjoint of B into adjoint of A. If A is an invertible square matrix, then adjoint A dash equal to adjoint A whole dash. Okay. If A is a non-singular square matrix, then adjoint into adjoint of A equal to determinant of A whole power n minus 2 into A. This is the seventh property and eighth property is for any for any non-singular matrix A and positive integer K. A power minus k equal to A power k whole inverse equal to A inverse whole power k. This is the eighth properties. So, these are the uh, properties of the inverse of the matrix. Okay. And next, Cramer's rule. So, what is Cramer's rule? First one is D is not equal to 0. In such a case, the system has previously one solution. The one solution means unique solution which is given by Cramer rule that is x equal to d1 by d, y equal to d2 by d, z equal to d3 by d. Second, second one is second rule is d equal to 0 and at least one of the determinants d1 comma d2 comma d3 is non zero, then the system is inconsistent that is it has no solution. Third one is d equal to 0 and d1 equal to d2 equal to d3 equal to 0. Then the system has either infinite number solutions, okay, homogeneous system. Next one is, next topic is homogeneous system. So, what is a homogeneous system? If d1 equal to d2 equal to d3 equal to 0, then the system is known as a system of homogeneous linear equations. A system of three linear equations in two unknowns that is? Linear equations form two unknown forms. That means a one x plus b one y plus c one equal to zero, a two x plus b two y plus c two equal to zero, a three x plus b three y plus c three equal to zero is consistent if determinant of a one b one c one, a two b two c two, a three b three c three is must and should be determinant value is zero. This is the homogeneous system. <laughs>